Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Potion Craft Alchemy Simulator. I'm on day 12 on my new alchemy shop in the beta update. Lots of new stuff. And I'm hoping to, yeah, make some new kind of potions. You need a potion to reconcile with someone dear to me. It's a delicate situation, so I'd prefer a weak potion. I'll pay extra for a potion made from one type of ingredient. Two requirements, getting us started, and they're kind of cryptic about the potion. My guess is charm, if you want to reconcile. Now, here's the thing with charm. How the hell am I getting here with only one ingredient? I don't have that much faith in Orkin. I kind of want to just settle with the charm potion I already have. A weaker potion would suit you better. It'll sell for more than 327? Bruh, just take a third of the strong potion. Okay, I have to know how much a weak potion would cost. So how about I get cooking again, this time with the right technique. I decided I'm only gonna go for a weak potion and ignore the one ingredient only thing, because that is absurd. And around I go. Will I still have the ability to continue it with the ingredients? Yes, I will. Because I wanted to use some wind blooms. And I'm too scared to hop into the other whirlpool. That will surely end me. But I could do some nice movement around it. Like it can help me get some verticality. That looks pretty good. Because all I need is a nice solid wind bloom. And it's a shoe in I don't even need to push that around. I just need a tier one. Oh boy, all this for a weak potion of charm. I'm not saving that recipe. How much you paying? 392. Okay, but have you considered the fact that more than one type of ingredient is a total scam spread by big potion to sow doubt and lie among the common folk? Uh, that has nothing to do with the forecast, or does it? Watch what they're putting in those airplanes. Let's sell it and carry on. Are you well, Alchemist? No one has put a curse on you. <laughs> I'm quite tired today. Even laughing is a burden. You understand sorcery is hard work. Do you have a potion that restores mana by chance? Who could put a curse on me? There are many. <laughs> I'm not the only sorceress in the area and certainly not the scariest. Trust me. It's not ominous. Part of me actually kind of hopes that I have to like duel off with a, an evil sorceress or alchemist or something like that. That'd be a very funny plot line. Oh, mana potion. I had just made one of those. Well, how about another? And it's the mushroom man. He needs a mushroom or a potion himself. Oh, this is, he's actually given me this prompt before. He wants a dexterity potion. And I can absolutely help him out with that. And we'll be getting more cool stuff from him. Let's see what he's got now. Chanterelles I'll take, witch mushrooms for sure, stink mushrooms, dried saddles, why not? All these I've seen before. We know I can haggle down a pretty good deal. And actually, it's funny. The hard only saves me like 75 extra money. You know, reading can be very valuable. It made me learn that, honestly, I don't even save that much with hard haggling. You learn something new every day. You need a potion that'll make you brave. You will be so angry that you can't possibly fear. Holy crap, that's what it was. That was a half joke. Are you brave enough to go to the haggle, uh, the, the, the arena, <laughs> the arena of haggling? Yeah, the braveness was inside you all along. I need a potion to slow down my goats. They're always trying to run away. I don't think I've made a potion of slow. Unless you want a potion of sleep. But I don't think he wants his goats to go to sleep. I also noticed there's a potion of slowness, which makes a lot of sense. Well, slowness is like sleep, so it's certainly in this direction. Let's get making. I'm gonna put a lot of different ingredients in this one. Just to spice it up a little. Because I'm also gonna be running low on water blooms, but I have a ton of these ice fruits. So I think that'd be a fun change of pace. I also have a ton of these good berries, which has a whole loop that I'd love to see. And let's see if this gets me anywhere close. I don't know what I expected. I surely can't see anything here. Maybe this ice fruit will help with the vision. Uh, well, maybe out this way, but there's a giant skull wall. 
I suppose I will need to go up. I'll go about this far, because I know the shadow wall, or the, yeah, the wall is ominous. How do I even get past that? Oh, uh, is this where the whirlpools come in? Also, there's also a giant thing of XP down here. I mean, damn. I think I will give the whirlpool a chance. Who knows where this will take me, really? And I'm eager to find out. Please, to the big book? Nope. Thanks for nothing. I think I'm just exploring at this point. Let's see if I can find anywhere that there's a crack in this wall. Oh, actually, I guess I have the crystal of teleport to the right. Maybe I should have used that. Well, it's too late. I'm gonna retry that ingredient eventually. Ooh, this is a predicament. At this point, I'm just gonna salvage what I can get. We're exploring the map with no real purpose now. How about I continue venturing down? Taking a huge risk by just sending it into the unknown, but this time, it's fine. Might as well find out what this potion is, although it surely is not what I'm looking for. Oh, with this fire bell, I should very easily be able to line it up. What say you? Uh-oh. Mm, I'm s a little off today. Right, let's try that again and get a little bit more precise with it. It's my first real potion crafting of the day. I have to warm up a bit. I mean, this is good that it's... What the? This is slowness. It's kind of in the direction of sleep. Definitely expected it to be more to the right, though. Anyways, this is not a recipe I am keeping. But I'll sell it. And here you go. Honestly, I'm not gonna haggle for this. I, it was just experimental. Hey, you need a potion to improve your vision? I got a magical vision potion. Now that's a lot of money. Would you consider having some drink and talking about maybe putting some more money on the table? You make great decisions when you're drunk. And that's a nice level up. Could do more trading, but honestly, I'm doing fine on money. I think I want more visibility radius. That's the day. Uh, I could do some fun, big, legendary recipe crafting. I do have the recipe for Negrito, and they changed this. They nerfed the hell out of Negrito. Made it a lot easier than I remember. Which is fair, because it's the first legendary recipe. But I'm surprised this all stuff I can realistically pull from my book. And, I mean, this is nice. I actually do prefer crafting this way. Save me some time. But I imagine the future recipes will, in fact, be much more difficult. Oh, I'm dumb. I have to move this to here. Thankfully, it is forgiving. It lets you shuffle around the potions if you've misplaced them. So the last one I need is, in fact, that potion of slowness, which I made. I've now got to make a better recipe for it. And since I know where it is, it shouldn't be that bad. And to get this going, I think I have a pretty good path. Yes, this looks basically perfect. <sighs> Don't mess this up now. Let's do the water first. That was very hasty. Did I mess it up already? Oh my god, I'm the worst. I am so bad at alchemizing today. What the hell am I doing? That's fine. I will only need one extra ingredient, it looks like. Yeah. Because this takes me down. Honestly, I might save this. No. I'll take another crack at it afterwards. I need a redemption for two fails at this potion of slowness. Actually, I might be lazy. I'm going to save this until I muster up the, uh, the want to do a slightly more efficient recipe. It's at least better than the previous one, but that's hardly saying anything. Let's make that first legendary crystal. It's a very satisfying look. I'm surprised there's no real sound effects. But hey, complete decay blackness. Is this potential to reveal this philosopher's stone? New knowledge helped you restore one of the damaged recipes. I now have the recipe for albedo. That's, let's go. So is this much harder? Oh yeah, this is much harder and it requires stuff I don't have. Now I'll just leave this in here so I don't accidentally sell it. 
I'll call that a day. I still have plenty I need to do at least in this chapter. So let's get back to the grind. Hello, miner. You need a potion. I'm glad to get you one. A strong potion. Can't get past the bedrock. Can't dig deeper. Help, and there's more stones in it for you. Absolutely. Potion of super muscle? What? What? Oh, well, if he can't get past the bedrock, instead of being strong, he could probably just blow up the bedrock. That's my next idea. I guess there's two way to go through bedrock. So enjoy. Show me your goods. Earth pyrite. Nice. Do I buy some fire citrines? I think so. Not buying cloud crystals, though. Not when they're overpriced like that. I think I'll keep it at a nice medium. One day I'll brave the hard haggle. But I think I still need more practice on even medium. And it's the... Ooh, the herbalist. You also need a potion. And you need more help with stuff that grows faster. Or to make stuff grow faster. I can help you out with that. This is a good trade system we have. I'll buy some hairy bananas and more stuff that's on sale. I could actually use more life leafs. I was pretty low on those. I think I'll even buy stuff that isn't marked up. Ah, what the hell. I'll buy the basic ingredients. It's a little overpriced, but nothing I can't handle. Okay, food looks easier than weather. I'm going to give this a shot. Wish me luck. Holy crap! A perfect hard haggle. That's what I like to see. Uh, making up for those expensive prices. I'm sorry that I did not converse with you while haggling. I was merely focusing on the art. Hi. Listen, there's a crazed fish in the area. All the fishermen know it. As soon as it takes the bait, it goes mad and swims like hell. No line can hold it. I want to soak my bait in a potion. I'll slow the fish down. Please help. Why don't you ever catch a normal fish? That's boring. You sit there farting around, idly staring at your rod and swatting at mosquitoes. Like tracking and catching extraordinary fish. Each one requires a unique approach and special bait, and only experienced fishermen can catch them. Bizarre fish fetch a higher price too. Well, I've got just the potion to help slow your fish down. And let me tell you, this potion is the perfect potion. It will turn your fish into a snail. Have you ever heard of a snail fish? Maybe, maybe not, but I hear they go for a lot. You'll make a lot of money with it. I need something to heal a wound. I'll pay extra if the potion has some suitable additional properties. Oh, like poison? Okay, guess not. All right, um, well, how about I start with a potion of healing and then add in? I think I want some strength. Do I think this mushroom will mess me up? It's worth a shot. Be pretty baller if that doesn't kill me. Let's see. The worst comes, worst case scenario is I lose a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I lost one healing potion and one mushroom. How about I try these ingredients? Oh, that just brings me a little further south and to the left. I definitely cannot mushroom now. I'll tell you what, though. Bring this up a bit and I could do some gold thorning. I didn't think this thing was ever usable. But honestly, this is exactly what I need. Let's just go around. I mean, it's still a little sketch, but it works. And the Terraria is just about perfect. I only need two tiers, so don't need perfection. Not only will it heal the wound, but it will also make you stronger. I'll call it the Bicep Healing Potion. It's strong. It's got a special name. You'll love it. Perfect. 65 coins. Oh, that is not worth haggling for. Oh, you are the mushroom man. You have better mushrooms for me. A foggy parasol. Dude, that looks cool. Too bad it's expensive. Buy goblin shrooms. Buy dryad saddles. You can try some weird shrooms. Mud shrooms for sure. And a moss shroom. This is new. Seems exciting. And okay, you know what? I'll try a foggy parasol as a treat. Let's talk. Why don't you sit back and have some nice booze? Oh, that was quick. You really downed that one fast. Well, good day. I need a potion to help me get some extra good sleep. I'll pay extra if moss shroom is the main ingredient in the potion. You mean this that I just picked up? Yeah, I think I can do that, actually. I think that lines up pretty well. This is an actually pretty versatile mushroom. 
because I could make it so I go mostly to the right and not very down. Okay, it's the main ingredient. It doesn't have to be 100% because I am going to need to just go right right now. And there's no cleaner way than adding a single water bloom. Let me make sure this doesn't kill me. I mean, worst case scenario is I can add some water. Nope, we're good. Wait. Yep. Here's what's up. I'll add half a water bloom and then an entire mushroom and I will pray that this gets me a tier 3. Worst case scenario is I think the whirlpool could actually save me. I think this is actually the only time to get it. It looks like it's going to be a little off. Oh, but maybe. Oh, can you believe it? That's a nice potion. Is that better than my current sleep potion? That is fewer ingredients. How oh, about the hell? I'll save this recipe. And get a little extra books along the way. You're gonna like this. I made this one special. Oh, it's perfect, you say? Perfect enough to pay a little more? I'll say, if you want extra help with this sleeping potion, a book right before bed will help you out and knock you out. Good luck with that. If you want magical vision... Oh, that's a good one. Let's see, can I get a... Ooh, let's see if I can nail a hard haggle. This will be baller if I can. Let's see if I can do it while talking about food. If I were... Oh, God. I can't do it while talking about food. Food is just so distracting. Holy crap, how I finagled a profit out of that. I have no idea. Seems I also need to improve my vision. And with that, another day of happy customers. It's time to get a little bit of experience. How about I make a potion with four different effects? Do you think five different effects counts as four different effects? Like, do you think it's at least four different effects? Because I almost want to prep this nasty albedo potion. This nightmare of a potion. How about I give it a stab? So dex, speed, charm, invis, flight. Dexterity, speed. I don't even have invisibility. Oh, good God. Okay, new plan. I want a big experience book, and I think that's what this is. So how about I also follow the dash line? Maybe there's something exciting way over there. This looks fairly clean to at least get me up to the bone wall. Let's make sure. I can smell it. The big book. It's finally time to use a teleporting crystal. It's been so long since I've done these. I'm gonna go right into the middle just in case I need to. That was a very big book. Not just a big book, but a very big book. Where even are the big books? How did I find this first? Is this a big book? The one with the three books? Possibly. I could try that next. First though, I have to know what this potion is. And these should get me into position just wonderfully. Perfect. Now, don't mess this one up. Why is this rotated? The imprint is rotated. I cannot get a tier 3. You're telling me it's possible to rotate my flask? Tell me then, what the hell am I looking at here? Fire protection, cool. Um, I also want to collect this triple book because I think that might be a big experience book. And then how about I try to find invisibility? I'm pretty sure it's to the north. It might be this dash line. Oh, I get to try out a feather bloom. These seem nice. Oh, these seem wonderful. Let me make sure this doesn't dick me. As I suspected. I do want to be going up and to the left though right now, so let's bring in some of these red mushrooms. Let's see, this will probably take me to the edge of the whirlpool. And I can get a little bit more height with this. Yikes. Well, actually, you know what? Where will you take me? Up, hopefully. Well, it was up a little bit. I can work with this. Bring on the witch mushroom. Set up a solid tangle shroom. I'm actually going to have this be a little bit to the left of the question mark. Because I'm just going to make a little shortcut with the cloud crystal, probably. I don't actually have that much faith in this working. 
Uh, but it's worth a shot. I do have to be very precise with where this lands, though. It's not like I can overshoot and then compensate with water. I gotta send it as far right as possible. Uh, well, we'll hope for the best. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It probably won't work. Well, water bloom it is. Certainly a bit of a waste of a cloud crystal. What is this, though? It is levitation. I think it's better to just kind of go around instead of waste the cloud crystal. So I'll just finish the potion. So invisibility might be this way? Taking it this far, what do I see? Don't even see a dashed line yet. Maybe another one of these? Yeah, I mean, this lines up so perfectly. Though it is advantageous to whirlpool a little. Oh, there she blows. Maybe this is the one. So I'll do something very simple. Wind bloom and a mad mushroom. I'm kind of low on these. I should be careful. Add a touch of water. Go back to stirring. That looks good. Very good. I, this has to be invisibility. All right, good. That's a pretty good recipe. I'll save it. Where the hell do I find a big experience book, though? Weirdly, I don't see any big experience books. Or rather, experience with four books in them. It jumps from three to five. My theory is maybe they're at the edge of the map, but not contained within any weird pockets. So I'm going to try out that theory. And if I can't find anything, then so be it. Uh, I've always wanted to search a little bit to the left anyway. Where's my quad book at? Well, there's a question mark in here. Or I could just keep exploring. I just want to get a feel for the area. I'm not going to use any crystals. Okay, I have a ton of fire citrines. Screw it. Let's just go past some layers. Assume this won't completely mess up my thing. Yeah, that's fine. I keep going left. <gasps> oh, a big book. I love how these are harder to find than the uh, the quad books or the, the very big books. Put it right about here. Oh, wait, there's one on the outside. It looks like actually there's a ton out here. And this will get me the experience. There's actually a ton of potions out here. What is this? Oh, so many secrets. Maybe that's just the edge edge of the map. Oh, and this one's also rotated. What the hell? So at best I can get is a tier two. So perfection isn't as important here. Let's at least see what I'm working with. Oh, are you joking? Well, okay, I guess I'm getting a tier one. Incredible. Weak potion of enlargement. And I have to know, what is this at the edge? Is it just gonna stop me? Is it gonna kill me? Just going up to touch it should be enough. Better not, like, insta-zap me. I don't think it let me go any further. It felt like it pushed me. Let me try again. Yeah, okay, it just pushes me. Whoa, I get a ton of experience when grinding against it, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. You might as well just keep rubbing up against for a ton of experience. Don't mind if I do. That's another full level. I feel like this is an oversight, so I'll only give myself one more level and then call it fair. Maybe it's like you've made it this far. Enjoy your XP. Anyways, if you think I'm saving up for haggling too, you would have to be insane. I think instead I'll just go for trading and maybe save up for more trading. Well, now just to get to fit chapter four finished, I might as well create a potion with four different effects. So now the albedo recipe one. I know where all these are. It's these four and then the dex, which is very far away. All right, I'm off on a journey. I want to go until I have just this very small sliver. Because my plan is to actually now dilute it with water. Hope I don't die by bones and then get the others. And I do. And I've got a bit of a head start. So here we go. And another tier one. 
Now, I have a feeling I don't need the proper order or anything. As long as I just have all the ingredients, I should be good. Also, I finally figured out what this little symbol is. It basically shows where the whirlpool is going to teleport to. It's all coming together now. So I wonder if there's any whirlpools that have had some crazy teleportation that I just didn't notice. And the fourth tier one. And now I just need invisibility. So I will need to teleport to the right. Good thing I have one frost sapphire remaining. And I'll get very close to the edge. And make a nice clean teleport over. And then just a very simple water bloom and it's done. Well, that was tough. Yeah, I'm not saving that recipe. Or am I? Actually, I probably should in case I need to do it again. Called the Albedo Ass Pain. Fitting name, I think. And there we go, chapter four complete. Got another skill point, which I think will go into trading. Who doesn't want more money? And okay, five effects does count as a four effect one. That's nice. Well, I've got more stuff waiting me in the future. Can't wait to see what a new day brings. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed more potion craft coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.